Hello there and welcome back to the Aztecs. Last time we got ourselves into a annoying war, to be honest, against the Castilians, which didn't really end up giving anything, but on the plus side I didn't really lose that much either. Sacrificed a bunch of gold though, and all my men, but that's a story for another time. I think I'm probably going to get into some sort of trouble with uh, Shawnee and Huron, but uh, I guess we'll be aiming at well, rebuilding my armies is probably my first matter of business, but I'll probably have to accept whatever these uh, these peasants here want, which is not, well, it's not great, but nothing I can do about that. Um, for the time being, apparently I cannot, well, I'll send them a bribe and then we'll annex them. That's, I think that's the easiest way to solve it, but I definitely need to, uh, wow, a lot of peasants. How annoying. Probably due to high war exhaustion. We'll go ahead and lower that. Because, well, it doesn't help me to have it high. And I know I should probably just more or less aim at focusing on... Uh, on... Uh, well, boosting my... Uh, boosting my... Uh, well, I got stuck. Uh, boosting my uh, my techs rather than you're doing anything else but nothing I can do about it for now and we'll go ahead I should probably have given them less money but I definitely need to try and focus on getting both of these annexed as uh, as soon as possible because well I can't really have them running around or leave them high as you can see it'll actually take forever to get them annexed but I have to do it simply because of the fact that it's needed it's necessary and if I do not do it, then Castile can potentially colonize inland, and the same for England. And that would definitely be a uh, a problem for me because if they do that, I'll uh, I'll get into a ton of uh, <laughs> I get into a ton of problems. Uh, but for now, I'll need to get my colonies back up and running. I'll have to deal with these annoying peasant rebels, and I should potentially also try and get myself into a war with uh, with the Incas, but. All in due time for now, we'll just have to. Uh, it's not possible. What the heck happened now? It's because I started the annexation of. No, I'll simply have to wait those two years, no problem. Um, I could potentially then get myself into that war with the. Uh, with the. Uh, with the Incas. But uh, we'll have to see. For now, I'll just set up troops to protect my colonies and then we'll deal with it when time comes. Admetic 8 has been reached, the uh, workshop and courthouse, level 8, can now build both of those, which is uh, quite beneficial to me, I guess. And for the time being, I guess we'll take that merchant and potentially also just go ahead and, uh, and finish this tree here, especially up to diplomatic reputation, but uh, we'll have to consider that. If I get a guy that can boost the speed of, uh, of annexation, then I'll to, of course get that guy. But uh, as you can see, for the time being, I'm currently just building up my armies, so or hiring mercenaries is probably more like it, so I can attack the Incas and, um, and vassalize them before anyone else does, and that should be uh, that should be helpful. We'll see how that goes. Colonial conquest war has been declared on the Incas, and with that, I guess we'll just get straight to it. Um, goal, of course, take as much Incan land as we can, or basically just vassalize them. That is, uh, that's probably the best way of saying it. And I'll just continue, as you might imagine, colonizing as much land down here as possible. So getting the Incas also integrated is potentially something that should be high on my, uh, high on my priority list. But for the time being, we'll just focus on, uh, on putting ourselves in a better spot uh, before anything else, and then we'll deal with, uh, we'll deal with things as they come. And of course, the fact that the Incas are attacking me is extremely annoying. But we'll just go ahead now and hunt down that Incan army and completely destroy it. Even though I really don't have any use for that merchant yet, I'll probably station him in Chesapeake Bay once we get Shoni and Huron integrated, along with uh, along with some colonization done. But we at least got the mercenary cost minus ten percent, which will help out quite a bit. And I really just want to finish this uh, this tree here. Potentially, then we can go to Asia, as I said, build a power there while we uh, while we try to catch up in tech. We're still pretty far behind, so I should probably not invest this much in ideas. But that limits what I can do. And for the time being, I'll just try and get my my colonies up and running and 
basically I get faster colonists and that all. I'll probably stop there for the time being, but uh, we'll have to consider as things go on. But uh, yeah, as you see, we actually lost a battle against the Incas, but it's not really a problem. We uh, They simply thanked me when I hunted down their army up here, and they defeated a uh, 3,000 man army with about 14,000 men, then they got eradicated. But apparently they are back for more. So uh, that's funny, but uh, as I said, shouldn't be a problem of winning this war. There we go, as you see, the Incans will accept becoming a vassal. And that is good for us. They are basically, yes, oh, we are basically set then. I can also now, I believe, start the annexation of Huron as soon as we actually uh, get that diplomat back home. And that'll leave me in a position where I can actually, uh, well, do anything for quite a while. I'll probably have to focus then on getting my next level of diplomacy tech. Simply because of uh, the fact that if I get that level of diplomacy tech, then I will be set in terms of. Uh, well, getting my uh, getting myself going, I guess I should call it. Uh, with the next level diplomacy tech, I will be able to build an embassy, will get myself an extra diplomat, and as such, everyone can live happily ever after. But uh, that's the plan, we'll see how it works out. For now, we'll take the next level of uh, military tech. Military tech 8, pike and shot. Military tech is increased by 0 0.25, we get an increase in combat width by a whole point. Infantry fire by uh, 0 0.5, and cavalry shock by 1. I can also now build training fields and march, should I feel like it. Uh, we'll probably not do that, but positive other things. Next level, we'll be getting uh, the Galilei, which is positive. Once we get to level 12, we might actually try or start uh, considering fighting uh, fighting Europe as it were but for now I think we'll just uh, just leave it out of this the Castilians do have only the Scottish as their allies so potentially fighting them would be a possible or potentially a good thing to do but uh, as I said I have to wait till wait until we have built that embassy we have to wait until we get a little bit better um, military attack probably around level 12 we might consider it but even then uh, we might actually be defeated due to the fact that they have a um, a massive advantage in terms of uh, in terms of manpower and also in sheer force. We will of course have a monetary advantage. We could probably hire more troops than them, and potentially by uh, by having everyone else actually start well to some extent causing trouble for them in uh, in Europe. We could potentially benefit from that. So if Castile is still only ally with Scotland once we reach uh, military tech 12, uh, if they haven't actually uh, gotten even higher, we could potentially uh, try and get ourselves into war with uh, with Castile. And if we can, to some extent, get best buds with Portugal here, get a, a alliance poss possibly, then that would definitely be, uh, be for the best. Then we'll probably also go ahead and take Almeria just simply one of these provinces, re give rebirth to Granada, and that'll be our, our ticket into Europe, I think. But, uh, can't really worry about that now. We have other things on uh, on the menu or of more importance. So, uh, I guess we'll just for the time being continue our colonization, and hopefully we'll be able to annex these two before too long have passed. I also want to check if I had any negative modifiers in terms of... Uh, in terms of diplomatic, apparently not. So why is my? Oh, it's due to my legitimacy. <laughs> Awkward. Um, we might actually. How good is the air? He's crappy, but he'll get my legitimacy back up. So potentially having him. No, I don't want him to die right now. Uh, that would be horrible. Uh, I need to keep him alive. So we need our ruler, but in order to get these guys an X, we probably should have him dead simply to boost the the speed. But nothing we really can do about it for now. We we'll simply have to wait uh, wait peacefully and see what happens, and hopefully we can uh, we can make it work out one way or another. Tacking up is definitely the priority right now. I've been tech nine reached the site. Production efficiency increased by ten percent. Shell my economy a little bit, but. Uh, Nothing really more than that. We need to reduce inflation again because due to the fact that we have a well immense or a huge amount of gold mines, six, we really need to uh, to reduce inflation every now and again. But as of now, it's not really anything that we need really need to worry about. I'll not be actually using my fleet to boost any trade uh, power either. It's not really uh, 
I don't think it's actually worth it right now. We are making a fair enough amount. We are making money. So it's not something that's uh, that's that's necessary. It's, uh, it's more like it right now. Uh, next idea group, however, I think, as I said, we'll probably go for a military one. Although we'll probably use forever to actually start uh, start investing in it, more or less. I guess we'll go ahead and crack down on it. Um, as I said, religious ideas is potentially also something that we sh could take. We'll be needing it later, but not right now. So I guess we'll unlock the uh, the quality ideas for the time being. I'll probably also go naval ideas to be able to uh, to get myself into Europe. Uh, properly, but if I at least get a deal, let's say with Portugal, uh, it seems to be at least a possibility that I can get an alliance with them down the line. They uh, don't actually like me that much right now, but once my once my uh, once my army grow and the country grows, we'll probably be able to uh, to snatch an alliance with them, and that would definitely be of help for us. If we can ally Portugal, that means that I can land troops in Europe, and that means that I can fight Castile pretty. Uh, pretty easily, especially if they keep on... well, I thought I could fight them, but it turns out that will be uh, very difficult. I definitely need to have allies, I definitely need to have to choose my my opportunity here with care. Fighting, yeah, uh, well... Right now, it doesn't actually look like there's anyone that I can fight. England, potentially, but I have to, uh, I'll have to get some deals with Scotland in order to do that. So, yes, a lot of things that needs to be, uh, needs to be sorted out before we can actually do anything. So we'll simply have to wait and see what happens. Diplomacy Tech 6 has been reached. The embassies. I can now build an embassy, which is uh, definitely a good thing. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the uh, the 10 diplomatic power needed to build it, so we'll have to wait a month. But uh, this thing will definitely help. Now I can <laughs> now I can at the very least start getting uh, or try to make friends with Portugal. Uh, hopefully, as I said, I can get an alliance with them. It will definitely be helpful, even though they're allied with Castile and everyone. But for the time being, if I can get into war with England and basically take their calls here, that would be uh, that would be positive. But if I can just get one, get myself into uh, into Europe one way or another, I wouldn't actually have anything to complain about. And unfortunately, I will have to release a vassal. And as you can see here, England doesn't actually have anything that could potentially be released as a vassal due to the simple fact that they have culture converted I believe everything they have gotten except for the Scottish provinces which once again puts me in a position where I should focus on trying to vassalize these guys Castile and Sweden no will not be going after them uh, for the time being I, <laughs> I honestly can't but uh, yeah we definitely have uh, definitely have a lot of things to worry about but Let's leave that until the time that I actually get the tech to, uh, to pose a challenge to them. And that'll probably be very far down the line, as you can see, unfortunately. I do apologize for the uh, uneventful times, but nothing much really to say. So I'll, I guess I'll just go ahead and allow part time to pass, and we'll see how it turns out. Military Tech 9 has been reached at Starfort. I can now build all. My troops are now Galileis, and I can also build a star fort, which definitely will be uh, helpful. But for now, we'll just go ahead and pick them. As you can see, I've also started the uh, the building, I guess I should call it, of uh, well, more of I guess we should I guess I should say troops that uh, troops that match my uh, uh, my troops. I'm basically just trying to build something that's not mercenaries. I'm basically trying to get them now. And as you can see, I do have uh, 16,000 men, not a mercenary army. I'll probably build three of these that I will have. 10 to 4. That will be my setup for now. Not really much to it other than that. And hopefully, I can keep on uh, keep on colonizing, keep on building, and keep on making things work. As you can see here, we also have completely now colonized this area. The Incas, well... Not really much we'll do here. I think we'll actually end up warring for it. Because still, we'll definitely be a, a target here. Taking the 13 colonies. Taking uh, Caribbean. Taking this. All of it is important. But I'm pretty sure that I'll get overextension from taking... Uh, I guess we'll go for attack. So which is the best option here. Um, Tears to build is not something that I see as a problem. So we'll just leave it at that. But uh, once we get into war with Castile. We'll probably focus on taking this area here. And the 13 colonies. I'm pretty sure we can't take everything in the first war. We we'll probably won't. Simply because of the fact we'll get a huge amount of overextension. 
so we really don't want to but uh, yeah not really that much we can do Portugal is uh, apparently caused some trouble here but uh, not really and once again not really that much I can do we simply have to sit on the sidelines and wait um, colony completed apparently good for me is this one it is so as you see I'm just continuing trying to colonize as far up here as possible to block off the, uh, the other nations admin tech 10 million reach modern theocracy I have now another group of ideas and I'm pretty sure we'll probably just go ahead and pick one no real reason not to and for now I guess I'll just take quality I'll not be investing in it but we definitely will have to take these in order to be uh, competitive in Europe um, when it comes to the other ideas groups I'll probably choose is naval to dominate the sea if we can't get uh, can't get a land access in Europe somewhere we should be able to so it shouldn't be a problem uh, religious ideas is definitely something I will take due to this it will be helpful and that is basically it the stability cost will be nice too but it's basically just the uh, better relations over time defensive and offensive ideas will probably also be taken and potentially also trade to just boost my uh, my economy a little bit I have no idea if I'm pretty sure nothing or yeah nothing of this gives any uh, any better relations so we'll not be using that but uh, that's the plan for the future and hopefully we can pull it off. Unfortunately, this is all the time I had um, for this. We have been doing some colonization. We are growing. We are definitely in a position where Castile won't actually attack us, which is kind of interesting. As you see, the Portuguese are starting to like us quite a lot. Still not alliance though. Still not even a royal marriage due to the distance between the borders. But if they should end up in a position where I'm not allied with Castile, and Scotland stands without Castile as an ally. We'll probably get aim at the uh, in Scotland and then potentially uh, having a war against the English here because as you can see they're allied with Brittany, they're allied with Utrecht and they're allied with the Hansa. So they don't actually have that strong allies. So England is definitely something that would be a potential uh, a potential target as it were. And if we can vassalize Scotland all the better then we can simply hand back these uh, four cores um, potentially hand that back to Norway, but who knows? We'll probably just go for these four calls and then eat our way down to uh, to London. But uh, that is far ahead in the future, and we don't even know we'll pull it off. So uh, we'll just end it here. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise criticism, anything you feel like, and I'll see you around next time. Bye.